and we're live. Good morning, everyone. Let's give me back some color. It's like the Wizard of Oz. It starts out in black and white. Okay, are you guys ready? Thank you all for coming. I do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We uh, cover a different subject. Oh, let me turn off my volume. We cover a different subject every week. Sometimes we just take questions and I answer them. Uh, if you have questions, please put them all in caps so I can read them. I can't read every comment, but I do try to get the questions in all caps. Um, and some of you are just chatting to have fun. They usually start chatting here about 1030, half hour before the video starts. Um, we just get together and chat a little bit in the chat and you will see the chat on the video to the right. Everything you say in chat when you are live will stay in the video. So good morning, everybody. Today we're going to cover slicing and slicing images for like vinyl or iron on vinyl HTV. HTV stands for heat transfer vinyl, and it's the same vinyl as vinyl that says iron on vinyl. They're both iron on vinyl. They're both heat transfer vinyl. It's just different companies call it different things. So when you see me looking over this way, I'm looking at the chat, but you know what? I'm going to move my chat over here. If you're watching live, you can pop out the chat. That's what I do. I pop it out so I don't have to watch the actual video to see the chat. Okay, let's... Um, thank you all for coming. You guys are amazing. And I am going to... Oh, we didn't do this. Sheila, mute your computer. Oh, it didn't work again. It worked earlier. I test it every time I start this, and it works. You don't get to hear my song today. Lucky you. Okay, let's get started in Design Space. So I usually start it in a, um, on the canvas. But just for people that go to this, I want you to know when I start a new canvas, I just click right here where it says new project. Okay, so this is the canvas. And I don't like all these little bitty lines, so I'm going to go back to this one. I just hit this little button right here in the corner. And you can turn off the grid or change it. And today we're going to go to images. Sheila, I see you laughing that you got your way again. Didn't get to, didn't have to hear my song. Okay. Let's, what was I going to do? Oh, I remember. <laughs> so these are just images that are um, trending like they put on Valentine's because Valentine's Day is coming up. And there were some images I just found here. <sighs> I don't remember how far down they were, but I really liked those images. I played around with them and I'm just scrolling down. I really love this hand with the, I really love this image. I put this in a treat box for Valentine's Day. I like sliced this through the box. It was so cute. Um... Here's one. Lover's gonna love. I think this would be so cute on a shirt. And, okay, remember the other one. I just got to scroll down to find it. I did not have these already set on my canvas. Here it is. Because there's so many new people and they don't know how to find the images. So, we're gonna do that. Okay, let me, I have two screens here and I'm trying to go back. I have too many notifications, I can't read the chat. Thank you, Tamitha. Okay, here's these. I don't like the colors these are in. We're gonna, I'm just gonna hide this one for now. And we're gonna work with this one. 
and this is how you can size it. If you have a certain size you want it, you can go up to edit up here and put the size. If you want to change this, you just unlock the lock. can change it however you want. I want it back to normal, so I'm just gonna undo till it's back and the lock is locked. Uh, I'm gonna make it bigger so we can see it better. Okay, so first thing you do, this is, this has layers. You can see over here in the layers panel, you can hide any of these layers. Sometimes, the images come with the layers already hidden. So make sure that like this, oh, I hid the whole thing. Duh, Melody. Okay, so make sure you look over here and see what you have. Now, we cannot slice this. The object of this video is to show you how to slice it so you're actually doing one layer of vinyl instead of two or three. So if you were to, let's ungroup it. If it has multiple images, it's always grouped. When you're sizing it, you want to keep it grouped. Say I were to drag this, just this one, and now it's too small, it doesn't fit the background or that gonna word, and how do I get the other sizes to match? I can't, I'm just gonna undo until it's back. There you go, okay. So when you're sizing, make sure it's grouped or it doesn't have to be grouped. You can drag a box around it and size it that way so it all stays together. Okay, but I don't wanna put this layer on top of that layer and do too many layers because when you do that, it makes the vinyl on your shirt like kind of thicker and it just doesn't feel as well, if you get what I mean. So uh, I'm just gonna undo again. I want these back to where they were. I've messed them up. There we go. Now everything is in its place. Okay, and we don't have the slice option. You do have the slice option. And see, now that I've ungrouped these, if you look in the layers panel, they're all separate images. Now to slice, you do have to use only two images to slice, two layers. So if I want to slice this blue layer, let's change the color. Who's going to do this in blue? Actually, I think let's do this gonna in. I want to do that. And I don't want the background in black, I want it in, or gray, I want it in black. If I were doing this in a black shirt, I might make it in white. And of course, you can choose any color you want. Okay, so I'm gonna select the red one. I'm hitting the command key. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm gonna move my microphone. So I have the red one selected. You can see in the layers panel, it's gray, so it's selected. I'm hitting my command key, and I'm gonna click the black layer. I see my mouse up here? I'm just gonna click on that part. Now look in the layers panel, you know they're both selected, and now you can slice. So now I can move this away. I can move this way, and actually this one and that red one are exactly the same. We don't need them both. So those are out. Okay, I wanna, this one, I can't grab this blue one because this one is on top of it. We can click over here in the layers panel but then when we grab it, it's not there. So we wanna to go to a range. I have the black one selected because this box is around the black one, and I'm gonna move that to the back. Now it will let me select this because this is on top of it. So now when we iron this on, we're gonna iron on the black 
one first, I think. You could probably do the red one first and then do the black around it. And then grab this one. You could, let's move this one to the top. You could put this on top of that, or you don't have to use the blue one, just use it all one color. You can select that and the red one and slice that out. So now, let's take this, let's just delete that one. So now when we put this on, it's all gonna feel like one layer. Yes, it's the control key on Windows. Thanks for bringing that up, guys. Now, are there any questions? I am using a Mac, but it's the same on Windows, except for it's not a command key. It is control, I think. I'm just looking back on the questions. I'm not just being quiet. Sorry. Okay, I think I have all the questions. If I didn't answer your questions, please post again. Okay, do we have any questions on this part? Now, and you don't have to use all this. You could just totally just put this on a shirt. Oh, this has extra pieces because I didn't have that in the perfect spot. I would just delete those. And this still fits in there. Okay, it's working with the shift key on Windows. How did you get the gonna go blank? I don't understand what you mean. Oh, and this has these pieces in here. So I'm gonna hit contour. Because I didn't have those exactly in the right spot. And let me show you. So I'm going to click these. Let me show you how to get it on the right spot. If I was actually going to cut this out. Whoops. I don't want to hide everything. Okay. Here. Let's hide everything. Except for these. And these. There. Easier than clicking all those buttons. If I was actually gonna do this, I would zoom. You can zoom right here. If I did move that, like I, I moved this word, I would go back and make sure it was exactly in the right spot to do that. The purpose of the slicing is so if you're putting this on iron-on vinyl, you don't have two layers of vinyl because it makes the shirt heavier. Like it may, if you had a big thing on the front of the shirt and you had a lot of layers to it, it would be like kind of thick and not movable and stiff. Does that make sense? And there's lots of other reasons to do slice. Um, it's just unlimited. I have lots of videos on slicing. Uh, I've never noticed the vinyl shrinking when I apply each layer. I did a video on layering um, heat transfer vinyl, and I did the first layer only like five seconds. And then I put the next layer down and put something over all of it and then did it for the time. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Bobby made it. Our cheerleader is here. Okay, Jamie says, when layering HTV, it can shrink. Only heat your first layers 5 to 10 seconds, just long enough to be able to pull the carrier sheet off. Do the full time at the very end. Yeah, that's what I do. I do only 5 seconds and tear it off so it's all the same.
Yeah. Uh, Sue says slicing when you use glitter or holographic is super helpful because you can't layer things on top of the glitter because it won't stick. Okay, let's try the other image. I'm going to group this together. And because it's grouped, I can just hide the whole thing at once. Okay, let's play with this one. This one you could use. This I think this one would be awesome on a shirt for Valentine's Day. And again, I changed the colors. Okay, this is two layers, as you can see here. Select it and I can slice because it's only two layers. So I don't have to do anything. I don't have to ungroup and it is grouped. I don't have to do, I don't have to move them. So I can just do slice. So now this and this are actually the same image now. We don't need this one. So this gives you lots of options because I think this would be cute just as it is. Like just putting this on the shirt. Wouldn't that be cute? I love that. Or you could just do this one as it is. That would be cute too. But if you do want it in two layers, like you could do, oh, it'd be pretty if you did this light pink one in glitter. You just have to find the right spot. And this this one, I don't know why, but it has this little piece up here. Whoops. Right here, my, I'm circling it. And I'm gonna go down to contour. And I can't see that piece. It's up here somewhere. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. I was gonna say just contour it out. But actually, if you can't, like, it's so tiny. I would just weed that out of the vinyl. So if you wanted to do different colors, you could do this pink and glitter this way and layer in that way. You can't change the words. And these are all cut, so you could cut this in paper. See how the middles, that's why this O has these break lines. So this piece was actually made to cut out of paper. This would be cute on a card or anything or something, but you wouldn't have to, um, this piece, I would just do it on solid like it was made if I was doing paper. Oh, Sue, you're right. I am on the wrong layer. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm on the wrong layer. There it is. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. I was wondering why I couldn't see it. Uh, Christina... I just uh, answered that question. What is the difference between heat transfer vinyl versus iron-on? It's exactly the same thing. It's just a different name to call it. All iron-on is heat transfer vinyl, and all heat transfer vinyl is iron-on. It's exactly the same. You do not need to use Teflon when you're using the Easy Press. Uh, the heat setting you need to, re if you're using the he Easy Press, there are lots of different settings depending on what iron on you're using and depending on what fabric you're putting it on or what material. You can iron on paper, you can iron on poster board, you can iron on leather. Okay, going over your questions again.
Beverly, I don't know the word art program that would create that. I just usually create them in Design Space. You can put a heart up with the shapes. And you can add your own words and slice them through. Just make them fit inside the heart. Move them around. Maybe we can cover that next week. I, I was thinking you can do it any way you want. You can do them both in glitter. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. Um, I think if I was going to iron this on, I would do this red one first. And then do that one. I don't know if it matters. Sandy says, how about using bonded fabric for one layer and glitter vinyl for another? I wouldn't try to cut this out of fabric just because it's too intricate. If you were going to do that, I would do fabric first and I would do it on the solid pink. Remember there was, it started out as a solid pink behind it. I would do fabric with the solid pink and then iron on that fabric. Yes, this vi these videos are all available later. I have a playlist of over 25 of these videos I've done in the weeks. Okay, do you guys want to see another one? And I want to remind those people who support me on Patreon, we are having a Patreon hangout uh, after this video at noon. So if you pledged me on Patreon, you can watch that video. If you pledge $5 or more, you can be in the video. Lynn asks, how do you get all those tiny pieces straight on the shirt? Practice. Start out with a different image. It's not so difficult. You can use any layer you want to use in glitter. I thought it would be cute to have the letters in glitter. I want to do... Let's... How would we do a Mickey Mouse? Okay, let, let me do that. I'm trying to think of an image. Okay, so you want to put this on a shirt. Oh, these are so cute. This is from Disney Mickey and Friends. I don't know if this is still available. Kimberly, that's the reason for this video because I'm not layering. Those pieces were done, like here, let's bring this back. These, if I put these on a shirt, they would not be layers. They would be equal because that pink layer would be equal to this layer. It would be in the middle of it. So you're not layering. You're not putting any vinyl on top of any vinyl. When you have this done, it would only be one layer of vinyl. It's best to wash the shirt with no fabric softener first. I do have a video on using the heat press and layering vinyl if you have more questions on that. Um, I think I just did it last week. Oh, and she at Jessica says she added a heart, and I think that was kind of cute with him on the heart. Not a black heart. Let's just kind of. He's longing for his um, mini. Let's arrange that to the back. There. This would be cute. This would be cute to make this for uh, your other half. 
or your spouse or boyfriend, or if you're a guy, for yourself, and then make mini for the girl. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, let's say we're doing this. This has a lot, oh, I like that there. Not that it really matters. This has a lot of images in it. Do you see these? There's some hiding. So there's the outline. You don't need that one. There's two black ones. I'm not sure why. Let's hide them both. Okay. And okay. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for now and we'll put it back. We want to slice him. So he's one layer instead of like four layers that he is. So I have to select him. I'm going to ungroup. I am going to first select this layer of his face. I'm hitting Command or Control or Shift. Oh, and my package is here from Cricut. It's all that paper I bought on the first day of the sale. Okay, so I'm selecting his face and the black layer. You can see over here in the Layers panel, they're selected, and I'm going to slice. Okay, so now there's the face. There's the black layer. See how we slice that out? I'm gonna put that back. There's two of these. There's always two of the slice piece. So we'll put that back. This black layer, let's move to the back so we can Select another piece. So we're going to select the white ones, hit Command, and hit the black, and hit Slice. So let's take this out. Don't need that. Okay. Let's send that black to the back so I can see this red one. So we're going to take this red and we're going to slice that out of the black. So move this. Put that back. Okay, and then I kind of want him like this. Okay, so now I'm going to... Select the black and the red, and I'm going to slice. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's go back. We want to get rid of this red one. We want to put this one back. Now to get it back perfect, I'm going to zoom in. And thank you everybody who's answering the questions in the chat. And if you guys are watching the replay, you may need to watch this twice if you want to read the chat and watch what I'm doing. So I'm putting this back there. Wait a minute. Where's this red piece? I need to get rid of this, right? Yep, I need to get rid of that. So I'll, I can do that later. Let me show you. Let's put that back. Okay, so we that looks like that's back. Perfect, I don't see any lines in here. So let's put this back. We don't need this piece. Okay, let's select the heart. Okay, now... It cut this out, but I want to get rid of all this. So this is contouring. So we're going to get rid of whoops, these cuts. So now, look at the heart. It's how I want it. Now, I'm going to show you something else, but I'm going to show you how it looks on the mat first. So let's go to make it. 
because now I'm going to show you attach. Okay, there's the white, there's the black, and that is not how I want it. I want it to be how it should be, not like that. There's that layer, and then the red layer. And is there another red layer? Yep. I was looking for that piece. We don't want those on separate ones. Okay, so we're going to cancel the cut. Okay. So let's let's go to color sync. So color sync is next to the word layer. So you click on color sync and then you can put these, you just drag this up since I want all of this in here, even though there's only one, but if you pretended there were more, you could move them all. Or if you just want one, you can just do one. But I know it sounds stupid because there is only one. I just wanted to show you. There's two ways to move them. Okay, so now let's hit make it and see what happens. Okay, so now here's the heart and here's the red piece. But because they're both cutting out on the same piece of iron on, I want it to be where it goes. So I don't have to worry about placing that in the correct spot. So what we're gonna do is attach. So I'm selecting the heart here. I'm hitting the command key or control or shift on a Windows and selecting the red piece. And I don't have the red piece selected. You can see over here in the layers panel. So I'm going to, what piece did I have selected? I think I had the black piece selected. I'm just going to send that to the back. Okay, so now I'm selecting the red piece, and you can see it has a box around it, and it's darker in the layers panel, and selecting the heart, and I'm going to click attach. So now when we go to make it, It is where it should be. Now, if you want to save vinyl, you can not do it attached and move this up here and then put them on separately. But I wanted to show you how to make it easiest. Okay, so now we need, oh, let's, because we used the red piece last and did something to it, it always moves it to the front. I'm just going to arrange it to the back. And it doesn't make it look any different because of how we're slicing things out. So this is the black piece. It's only the one ear and part of this. And then this. Now you can just attach those if you like, or you can weld them. So what do I have? I have the other half here. You can see half of Mickey's face. And then I have this one selected. And I'm gonna weld and see what happens. That looks good. So let's go back to make it. There, now we have Mickey all back together. And we have that, and we have that. So we're good to cut. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the chat. Do you guys have questions? I know I see lots of questions. Um, Kim's asking, are you holding down the control key to select them all? Yes, I select, I'm not holding down another key. Then I'm holding down command key, selecting another one, and letting go of the command key. That's a great question. I know I've been asked that before. Sometimes you don't know when to let go of the key or when to start holding the key. So I select, hold the key, select another, and then do what I need to do and let, well, I let go of the key and then do what I need to do. Yes, I would only use weld when the items touch. You can use it when they don't touch, but you can use attach too, and you can attach things later. Jolene is overwhelmed. 
Jolene, don't worry about it. Watch this video again. I show you how to do this on three different images. So watch them. The best way for you guys to learn is to watch. As I do one step, you go in Design Space, do the exact step. You saw me pick out the image, you go find that same image and then watch what I do with that image and then you do it. And then turn the video back on and you do it. Okay, I'm reading comments. Hi, Amelia. Lori just joined Patreon. Um, there is, you were at Patreon when you joined and there are posts. Go to my post and you'll see the post for the videos, for the hangout. Oh, Laura, great question. How can you do the command on an iPad? You can't. On an iPad, you tap the one image, and then you tap the other image, I think twice, and hold it down on the second tap. So you tap it and then hold it down. Or you just hold your finger on it. And then till you see the box around it, and it selects them both. Joy says, and all the king's men welded Mickey back together again. Okay. I'm reading your comments. There's so many. Okay. Are there any other questions? Ooh, Daphne, great idea to put a name in the heart. Yes. I will put a name in a heart. So let's do that. Good morning, Asana. Okay, let's do mini. Mickey is missing mini right now. Uh, let's do a Mickey font. Let's do this one. Mini. Uh, let's put the letters together closer. Hmm, should I put it like that? Should I just put it straight? Oh. I don't know where to put it. So like put it there. All right, I'm gonna put it there. So, be, oh, and this has two layers over here. So it will not let me hit the command key, select this and slice because it has two layers, even though one of them is hidden. So first we have to ungroup this. So I'm only using the blue layer and the red layer and oh it still won't let me slash oh the reason it won't let me slice is because it's this is attached to this you can't have things attached to other pieces so first thing i'm going to do is detach 
Let's send this to the back so I can see the mini. Okay, and I'm gonna click the mini, hold command, click the heart, let go of command, or control or shift, and slice. So now there will be two pieces here. Okay, now I can take this piece and select the heart and attach those back. There we go. Delete that. So now we have this. So now we just made another layer. If I don't want to use this much vinyl, oh, let's send that to the back. So I can select this. I could change the color of this. I could color sync it. I didn't need to select that. I could make it black, I could make it white, I could make it skin color. Mm, maybe white. Depends on what color shirt I put it on is what I would choose. Oh, you don't like this piece on his shorts? You could maybe slice that off. Or if you're cutting this out in vinyl, it might be easier just to cut it off with scissors. Okay, now I'm reading all your comments about which way to put the name. Oh, Mary Ann, that's a good idea. I could have separated them and put them down like vertical this way. The name of the heart image is just in basic shapes. All you do underneath the text box and above the upload box are shapes. It was just the shape. These are always free to use. I use these all the time. I use the square to make cards. You can size it to any size. You can make it a rectangle or anything. And here's a score line. Let's go back to the layers. I think I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save the Mickey. I'll share this file. Um, guess you'll have to, if you guys don't own it, you'll have to buy it or I don't know if you can still buy that Mickey image. Here, I'll put it in the comments right now. I don't know if you'll be able to cut this if you don't own the Mickey cartridge. Do you guys have any more questions? Yeah, and before you decide you're going to cut, make sure you go to make it. And I've seen people ask, what's the difference of attach and group and different things? I learned all this on my own. I wasn't taught it. 
I, there were no videos that when I started Design Space. I just played with the images and then I would hit, well, back then it was the go button and see what happens. And I'd be like, oh no, that's not what I want. Oh, and you know what? This is not what I want either. I want the mini to lay down in the same spot. So we need to attach those. But go ahead and check this and make sure this is what you want. And you don't have to put this word mini in. You can just do it without that word. It's still going to spell mini right here. And it will just show through the shirt. That might actually look better to be the color of the shirt. Or if you are doing a white shirt, you don't have to iron on white on a white shirt. You could not do this one. You would have to do the black I wouldn't do this on a black shirt unless you were doing an outline. That's when you could do the outline of the Mickey. Or if you were doing it on a flesh colored shirt, you wouldn't have to do this layer. You want me to show you how to do mini on a curve. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna group this all together. Um, let's do heart. Let's do mini. I only have a few minutes because I have to get ready for my Patreon video at noon. So I'm just going to do this real quick. I do not like this color. I don't want to work with it. Let's do purple art. Okay. So mini, we want it, you want it to maybe curve around or something. Have to ungroup it. Whoops. I ungrouped the layers. So let's ungroup it again. So each letter is ungrouped. You just have to move them. Let's go up here. Oh, you know what? Let's put it on top of the, let's put it on top of it. No. You just have to do them individually. Go around the shape you want. If you wanted them to curve or put a circle on it, like it to go around, whoops, wrong button. Oh, I should have started over here. My mind keeps changing on what I want it to look like. I don't know if I like this or not. Maybe the other way. I'm not changing my mind now. But many times I'm designing and totally change my mind. So you could do this, put it on top of there, or you could put it inside. You just do whatever you want to do. more inside and not on the edge. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I like it better down here. But you just move each letter, curve each letter. I think it's relaxing to do this type of work. So just play. And some people are like, they're so overwhelmed on to do anything, but just play. Don't do anything. Don't do everything on purpose. Don't do anything to make it absolutely perfect. You have to, to make anything perfect, you have to do a lot of practice. 
You have to practice, practice, practice. They see projects that people have finished and it just makes them overwhelmed because they can't do that. Nobody could do that at first. Some people have had their cricket since 2006. That's 11 years that they have been working with it. Okay, back to me. Um, thank you guys so much for joining my videos. I'm here every Saturday at 11 a.m. And join my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. I have decided to do a challenge in there for paper crafters or for people who don't do paper crafting for you to learn to do paper crafting. Um, I'm giving you a cartridge I'm not giving you a cartridge. I'm telling you a cartridge to use and show pictures of it because so many people don't do paper crafting and so they don't know how. But if you just take an image, like go in there and search for any image and put it together with no intention of doing anything with it. Like go into design space. Let me switch back over. Go into design space, click an image. Let's take Mickey away because those are licensed. Put this dog together. Put that on there. Insert that image and just make that dog. Put it in the layers. Put Use paper. Make the dog. Fourth of July is coming up. Make a cute dog for no reason at all. Just do it. It won't be overwhelming when you have no reason for it or you're just crafting for fun. Have fun. That's what it's all about is to enjoy. Take your mind off all your worries. Craft for no reason at all. Just do it. I'm doing it in Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. <laughs> Sheila, you are so funny. Uh, Kimberly is asking, after you get the letters in the circle shape and you can make them stay, you can just attach them. You don't want to weld them in with the... If you're just doing the letters, you can weld them, but I would just attach them. Thanks, Jennifer. Okay, going back. If you don't see that challenge, that challenge right now, a new one starts tomorrow. I'm putting a new challenge in every Sunday. Hopefully I remember. If you search the group for hashtag birthday bash, you will find it because that we're putting in a hashtag so we can click hashtag and see everybody's post for that paper project or for that cartridge. So if you go into the group and click on search, hashtag birthday bash, we use the birthday bash cartridge. I'm trying to get people to use some of the old cartridges to even know that they're there. There's so many new people that, for one, they don't know what a cartridge is and they didn't know all these images were there. Because there's over 60,000 images in Cricut Design Space. Thanks, Jamie, for sharing the link. That's a link right to the challenge. So you'll have to join the group if you're not a member already. We're almost to 100,000 members in the group. Now, if only I could get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I got the paper racks from TSI Wholesale Warehouse, something like that. Search paper racks. I found them by searching Google for paper racks wholesale. It's like a store store. It's like a store for stores and search paper rack. In my video for craft room tour, I have many videos for that, but in one of my older ones, it has like 60,000 views. In that video, I have links to everything in my craft room. I don't get commission on it, so you can just search it, but the links are there for the things that people have asked about, even the pink color. 
on Patreon today. We're just having a video in five minutes. I may be late. Um, it's just a hangout video. You can ask me questions. Sheila joins us. Michael Crow joins us. Bobby's there sometimes. And we just hang out and chat and have fun. And some people show us the crafts they've been doing and just chat, really. Whatever it turns out to be. Sometimes it's, it's an hour. Sometimes it's two and a half hours because we're laughing and having so much fun. Sometimes there's not so long. Just depends. Yeah, if you just joined Patreon, you can see the video. There's a post. Go to my posts in Patreon. Um, if you joined Patreon, that's a link to my Patreon. There's posts for the Hangout video. And it's always available later to the people on Patreon. It's not available to anybody else. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I have to get ready for my next video, and I will see you. Oh, don't forget, Mystery Box comes Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern. It's an hour earlier. I will have a video and showing you what's in it. I opened up my box, and I really like it. I got really excited. Okay, guys. Where's the post? Okay, let me go find the post, my Patreon post. Whoops. Patreon. So if you guys are there now, tell them I'm coming. Let me get the post for the hangout. Okay, here's a link just to my page if you're not a Patreon and want to be. And then... Let me go to the post. And then I'm just going to give you a link to the post. The first post right now is the congratulations to the winners. Because I have winners every month that I give stuff away. And then scroll down and you'll see the post to the hangout. I just realized I didn't do a post for this video in there. Sorry. Okay. Are we all set? Thank you, Anita. Oh, and Anita, I'm working on one of those projects you gave me a while back, and it's almost ready. It's what I've been playing with. All right. I got to go, guys. Love you. See you in the next video. Bye.